guys, welcome back to Agree to Scree. I'm Joe, and this review will be about Oblivion. Now, going into Oblivion, I was not excited. I wasn't dreading it. it just, eh. You know, I I saw the trailers, and it, it didn't look fantastic. And I wasn't really expecting much at all. Just, you know, an action movie type deal. But, uh, surprisingly pretty good. I, I say it was pretty good, so... Uh, directed by Joseph Kaczynski, it is pretty good directing wise, I thought he did a good job with that. The story was surprisingly a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Uh, it was confusing at times, which I didn't think I'd be confused at all in a film like this. But uh, it, it was pretty good. I mean, it, to me, I haven't seen any other reviews I n normally don't before I go into a movie, so that way I can give you guys my opinion, but I I don't know if, if I'm the only one thinking this, or if a lot of other people think this, but I think the film is a lot like iRobot, and I say that because of the direction it goes in, I think is a lot like iRobot, I don't know, again, if I'm the only one who thinks this, and hopefully that's not spo I don't think that's spoiling anything for you, because that's my opinion. Uh, I think it's a lot like iRobot, and I don't think it's as good as iRobot. So that's why, to me, this film could have been better, but it just, I view it as similar to iRobot, and I think iRobot, iRobot's better. So, I mean, obviously, robots aren't trying to kill the world, but if you've seen the film, you'll know why I think that, and that's because of, towards the end, I think, I think there's a lot of uh, similar aspects between the two. Uh, the acting was okay. Tom Cruise was was fine. Morgan Freeman is the man in anything he does. Uh, Tom Cruise just kind of gave a Tom Cruise performance. I mean, I, I don't really see much of a difference between this one and many other of his films performance-wise. He seems to be doing the same thing these days. Uh, the, the movie was interesting, though. It, it definitely was interesting, this after-Earth, post-apocalyptic feel. And and the story got, although it got pretty bizarre at times, it, it was cool and, in, and definitely enjoyable. That's what this film is. It's enjoyable. It's a fun movie. I don't think it's meant to be, you know, the best movie you'll ever see. And it's definitely not going to be the worst movie you'll ever see. Just a fun movie. And with that, I'm probably going to be ending this review. There's not much to say about it other than what I've said. It's, it's a fun movie. So if you want to go see a movie right now and you just want to have a good time, not expecting much, I'd see it. Otherwise, you might not want to go and see it, but you might actually be pleasantly surprised. I know I was. And that might just be because I wasn't expecting much, but I was. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Probably very much. So, that's it. Like our Facebook, follow me on Twitter, all that jazz, subscribe. And, yeah, did you guys see it? Did you guys like it? Let's see if we can agree to disagree.